we at Yokogawa Indie Limited, customer service division no longer provide only services. We aim and strive to provide maintenance solutions to our customers. As owners of plant assets, what do our customers look for from OEMs? You look for solutions. We try and understand pain points of instrument maintenance, address those pain points with a solution. We have developed a few service solutions that will help our customers achieve improved reliability of plant assets, reduced cost of ownership, improved ROI. At Yokogawa we call this asset excellence. One such solution we are pleased to introduce to you is Panel Monitoring System. One of the most critical and costly instrumentation assets is Control Systems. It comprises of electronic hardware components. The control system is designed to operate in a specified band of environmental condition. So, what are these environmental parameters that affect the life of electronics parts? These are temperature, humidity, dust, corrosion, power supply and earthing. Operating outside the specified operating environment. Continuously over extended period of time, the reliability and life of electronic cards reduces, thus adversely affecting reliability and cost of ownership due to high maintenance costs, even without accounting for intangible impact of production loss and safety concerns, which will be very substantial. Here are some pictures of actual hardware depicting adverse effects of these factors. Humidity dust, worn out contacts which cause loss of signal even fans tend to fail, due to harsh environmental conditions, making the situation worse for electronic components on cards. Thus, it is obvious that if we want our control systems and other systems to operate reliably throughout the entire life cycle, environment in which it is installed and operated must be within the specified limits like the human body, control systems are in operation 24 by 7 for 365 days and, earlier we detect abnormalities, better is the life cycle of the human body and electronics hardware. The challenge is how to achieve this objective, and the first step, is to monitor these environmental parameters. The difficult part for the maintenance team is, how to monitor. Your control system is costly and critical for plant operation. Monitoring of temperature, humidity, dust, earth, will ensure healthiness over life cycle. So, how do you do it? Physical check on daily or weekly consumes manpower resources. Quarterly is not good practice at all. You can now monitor panels at different locations. From a single HMI terminal without physical inspection at a very reasonable cost using PMS. Let us now check out parameters that are monitored. These are temperature, humidity, dust deposition, fans powering or running status, smoke, AC current and voltage, DC current and voltage, earth current and voltage, 24 volt DC redundancy failure corrosion with third party sensor let us now see what the PMS consists of it consists of PMU panel monitoring unit which is installed in the panel which we want to monitor serial communication on RS485 Modbus by which multiple PMUs are daisy chained HMI human machine interface on which each PMU can be monitored let us now explore the PMU in detail this is what the PMU looks like it is designed as a modular unit where you can choose groups of parameters you want to measure depending on the application it consists of basic modules one power supply two CPU module Threv default standard module, 
which measures temperature, humidity, dust and fan status. 4. Module for power quality measurement. 5. Analog and digital input module. 6. Analog output module. 7. RS-485 Modbus communication. Modules 4, 5, 6, 7 are optional modules and can be ordered as per requirement of specific application. This helps in optimizing overall cost. The PMU is mounted on C channel and can be installed at any convenient location within the panel or even in other locations. For ease of wiring, the terminals are removable so that the sensors can be wired on the terminal externally and the terminal can be plugged into the module. High-low alarm setting for each parameter can be set using keys on CPU panel. Let us now review the sensors supplied along with PMU as a standard, depending upon the model ordered. The temperature sensor is semiconductor based, hence has long life. Humidity sensor is also a semiconductor sensor, built into the PMU and the indication of the same is in percent RH. The dust deposition sensor works on a simple principle of LED, a reflector and photosensor assembly. When due to dust deposition, the photosensor does not detect reflected light. It will generate an alarm. For resetting this alarm, the quartz glass window has to be cleaned with a small swab. The sensor thus detects the rate of deposition of dust on the sensor. AC and DC and earth voltages are measured directly by the module. AC DC and earth current sensors are designed as clamp-on sensors, for ease of wiring. This enables the customer to install these sensors without disconnecting any existing wiring, so that these sensors can be installed even in operational system, online. The PMU also detects the fan status and smoke sensor. All external sensors are provided with a 3-meter cable so that the sensors can be mounted at the most appropriate location in each panel. Let us now simulate a few alarms. Let's simulate temperature alarm. Once the temperature crosses either low or high limits set, what happens? On PMU the corresponding alarm LED lights up, alarm contact output operates. If you open the corresponding screen on the HMI, the temperature indicating dial turns red. Similarly, if we simulate the dust alarm, corresponding LED on PMU turns red, contact for dust alarm will operate and on HMI the dust indication turns red, for AC voltage becoming high or low. Alarms are generated. Corresponding LED on PMU come on and corresponding dial on the HMI turns red. Since alarms are displayed in real time, as soon as the alarm condition recovers, the indication also changes to green. Now, to ensure that all alarm events are captured, an alarm log is provided on the HMI, which will log all the alarm occurrence and recovery events, with time stamping. The HMI design intuitive hierarchical screen transition system consisting of plant level overview, next is panel level overview and finally individual panel parameter display by which, only a glance at the overview can tell if any alarm condition has occurred. Multiple panels of multiple plants can be monitored from a common HMI screen, so any panel of any plant has had an alarm. The plant level box turns red, corresponding panel level box turns red. The box will remain red till the user notes the alarm and resets the alarm from the specific panel detail display. Apart from the HMI, the PMS can also be hooked up directly on Modbus card of any DCS or PLC, and then display on DCS or PLC HMI screens. For ease of troubleshooting, the PMS provides a diagnostic function. 
in case there is loss of communication from any PMU to the HMI or DCS. That particular unit will be highlighted in cyan color, indicating that communication is lost and parameter readings are not getting updated. The actual fault can then be easily identified and repaired. As described before, to optimize cost, the PMU's modular design allows the customer to order each PMU as required for specific application. This is the ordering information. A standard PMU. Hyphen S for DCS panels, then, hyphen O option for PDB panels, then for RS485 Modbus communication select hyphen R option. Similarly, other option can be selected as needed. The PMS is a generic system, which can be used to monitor environmental and power quality parameters in a control room or inside a panel. It can be used for a wide range of applications. Let us now check out the various applications possible. We will discuss four possible applications. However, the system is designed to be very flexible and many more applications are possible. The simplest system can be to use to install the required PMUs, do the alarm settings for various parameters and wire alarm contact outputs to a simple conventional enunciator. However, this will require a lot of hard wiring hence it may not be suitable for multiple PMUs. A more complex PMS can be built by using the RS485 Modbus to connect multiple PMUs to a common HMI end. Monitor multiple panels from the HMI. The HMI itself can be placed at any convenient location outside the panel room or on an auxiliary panel. Maintenance personnel can monitor all panels from the HMI without the need for even entering the panel room or physical opening of panels. In case, panels of multiple locations are to be monitored, that can be done by using a RS485 to Ethernet converter, which can then be plugged into the company LAN. An HMI or PC can then be connected on the LAN in maintenance workshop or any other convenient place. From when multiple panels in multiple geographical locations can be monitored from the maintenance shop. Depending on the size of control room, PMUs can be installed to monitor the overall control room environment itself. This will be useful when environmental status of remote unmanned control rooms is to be monitored. The PMU can be connected on Modbus card of the control system and status can be monitored in the central control room. As you will see from the above mentioned applications, PMS will ease the job of maintenance personnel. It will result in huge saving on maintenance resources. While ensuring that environment conditions are monitored, on real-time basis, thus finally achieving the objective of Improved reliability Reduced total cost of ownership Improved ROI, due to reduced maintenance and spares cost Thank you for your attention